I'm Karina Tech, author of Scolio Pilates, and this is your third Scolio hip video. Yes, we have Gus T. Bassettham. Go ahead and sit. Good. Heel around. Heel around. All the way around. Good job. Sit. Good job. Stay. Okay. <laughs> That's his big trick. <laughs> he does some other great things too. But... I wanted to show you about the hip that moves forward uh, in standing. So just like we did seated and we did side lying and we talked about my hips specifically, um, that my right hip likes to live forward. Well, not surprisingly, when I'm standing, my right hip also likes to live forward. So for me to stand in a position like this, uh, where the right hip is much closer to you than my left, is, is pretty normal for me. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can go about uh, addressing that. And very quickly, there are there, one way is to simply stand with your right leg back, and that automatically takes that um, hip back. However, if you look at this from the side, and my right hip is forward, the relationship of my hip to my leg is such that my hip is forward and my leg is being forced back, almost into um, a little bit of extension here. So if I take this hip back, so now it's in line, the relationship between my hip and my leg is not changed. It's the same. It's okay. It's a great way to start. Um, it's an option, I should say. Not even an, a great way to start. It's always an option. Another, uh, another option would be that you could stand in a modified Pilates V. So Pilates V is with your legs completely together, sleep, <laughs> sleep. feet slightly turned out. Instead, I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to take my heels slightly apart. So I have a little bit of space between the heels. My heels are pretty much right under my hips. I'm going to put my thumbs on my hip bones, and I'm going to pull that right hip back, so now it's in line with my left. And now the whole relationship between my hip bone and my thigh bone has changed to be more physiologically in a normal position, as opposed to both the hip being forward and the leg being back, like we just did. I prefer this one just a little bit more for me, uh, so when I'm walking the dog, I'll find this position of the dog like you don't know him. <laughs> so when I'm walking Gus, uh, if he stops to smell a bush, um, just frequently, I'll make sure that my hips are aligned, that they're in that alignment. I'll elongate from this position. I'll give my butt muscles a little squeeze and continue to elongate. There's a lot of other corrections I can do here, but those would be the main ones. I would look at my hip bones, make sure they're in the same alignment and then squeeze the butt a little bit. My feet have already been placed in a modified Pilates V. And I'm going to place my hands on my hips. Usually I've got one leash in my hand. And I'm going to elongate my head to the sky. And I do this one a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. So Gus sniffs a lot. So, so my body is constantly being taken back to this more neutral position. So from the side, it's going to start like this. My feet will be in the modified V. And instead of my right hip living forward, like it probably wants to be most of the time, I'm going to make sure it's coming back. From here, I'm going to squeeze my butt muscles just a little bit. And I'm going to pr press my hands down on my hips so that my head reaches the sky. And from here, I'll either just breathe normally, or I might take a couple of deep breaths if Gus is sniffing a bush. Okay? So from when you get there, you can count your breaths, you can do three breaths there, or you can just breathe normally. Like if you find yourself talking to a friend, you know, your modified Pilates V, your butt squeeze, your hips are in the same alignment and you elongate. That's it. Very simple. All right, let me know if you have any questions about this one. And we have one more scolio hip video to go for you.